Hey, welcome back everybody. This is Paul from Gainer's Paradise. Episode 9 coming at you. We're doing actually a combination of chest and back in today's workout. Now, it's a little different than I've posted before. Typically, we're hitting one muscle one time a week. But in this rotation, we're doing an A-B split. So there's an A workout for chest and back and a B workout for chest and back. So, as you can see right now, this would be the A workout. This is the beginning of the week for me, and uh, we start on incline bench. Now, the volume is kept extremely low, because it's almost like you're hitting half of the workout, in this case on Monday, and then the other half on Thursday. So it's nice and spaced out throughout the week, and it gives you enough time to recuperate to hit it again and increase that growth sequence once again. So here I'm hitting a rest pause set of my first set of incline bench and I hit a rest pause set of eight reps at the first round with a 10 to 15 deep breath break in between. Now I'm coming back in for four reps here and then I'm gonna take another 10 to 15 deep breaths for the break and then I'll finish out this first set. It's just one big massive set for a, another round of two reps, and that'll complete the first set. I sped up the rest, so you didn't have to sit around watching it, but you get the idea. In the middle of that rest pause, in between each of those breaks, it's 10 to 15 deep breaths from the diaphragm to help with short-term recovery. Now, on to round two. We dive right in, 50 pounds higher on the weight and the reps. Of course, we want to keep the intensity high, so we always want to push out the maximum amount of reps. And in this particular set, I did hit six on the first round, three on the second, and then one final rep for the third round and the finish of that second set. Again, taking that 10 to 15 deep breath break, utilizing that rest to bring some short-term recovery to the body so that we can push out more reps. This particular break looked a little bit longer than it should have, but you get the idea. Dive back in. And my way of doing a proper rest pause set is Whatever you get on that first round, try to at least get half on the second and then half of that on the third. So there's different variations to rest pausing, but that's kind of my standard breakdown. So on the first set, I hit eight reps, four reps, two reps. And on this set that you're watching right now, I hit six reps, three reps, and one rep. Now doing these rest spot sets has gotten me much stronger, much faster, and it helps increase the deep fiber recruitment that I talk about a lot. Because you do have more left in the tank, you just want to use it in a way that stimulates growth. is mostly done. I'm gonna hit back first. Today's back day is loaded with pull-ups. Weighted pull-ups, burial grip, variable grip, and um, after that I'll finish my two sets of flat dumbbell presses so I get the most out of them, give my chest a little rest. But we're gonna go outside to do the pull-ups because it's perfect out. And why not? But I do need a belt to hang some weights off the waist. Let's go find one. So the best way to grow, weighted pull-ups, building that wide back. Now here I did mention that I started with chest and then I was gonna hit back next to give my chest a break. And then I'll finish the entire workout, the last two sets of chest uh, as the final exercise of the day. So here I'm doing 
essentially 20 warm-up reps. Now this is kind of a conventional grip, just outside of shoulder width, and pull down and back, keep those elbows out where you're pulling up, and that'll give you a nice, full, well-rounded lat pump, uh, a lat warm-up, rather, so that you can engage all the muscles when you're ready to go heavy. So this one here, I move my grip in a little bit. Now this is extremely difficult uh, and it's very satisfying on the lats in that if you keep the grip close inside shoulder width, but you keep your elbows pointing out as if you're doing them wide, you start to get a real powerful squeeze on those lats from the top to the bottom. Now you just saw me complete those warm-up sets. This is actually the first heavy set. If you see, the camera's a little bit high, but you can see the belt hanging around my waist. I do have 45 pounds at this point. Because it's new in my rotation, I'm just starting this, this new rotation. I typically grow into these, each exercise as I go on each week. So this week I'm doing 45 pounds for reps. Next week I'll add some more and so on. Again, I'm trying to keep my grip a little bit closer than normal, keep the elbows out, although they do come forward a little bit just because of my flexibility. And I'm hitting 20 reps with a close grip. You can see the plate there. Now I typically break up my 20 total work reps in a few different ways. I'll try to get a set of eight and then a set of six and finish with a final set of six for 20. Or I'll try to do a set of seven, followed up with another set of seven, and then a final set of six. Uh, and regardless, you'll see here that I do complete my rep. So on that round I did four and then I followed up with two more reps to fi finally hit that 20th rep. After I'm done with my close grip, I go a little bit extra wide outside of shoulder width. And again, the same thing applies. On this one, I actually didn't use any weight because I wanted to keep it a little bit lighter and get higher quality reps. But the same thing applies. You can break up your sets in two sets of 10 for a total of 20 reps. You can break up your sets with three sets broken up like seven, seven, six, or a set of eight followed by two sets of six. So however you want to do it, uh, the rules for me are 40 reps on chest, 40 work reps on back, not counting those two warm-up sets, and that'll complete chest back day one workout A. So you can see here, I'm feeling pretty taxed. Uh, those pull-ups are no joke. Finally, we finish with two sets of flat dumbbell presses. Now here, I actually just do as many reps as I can because they don't have any heavier dumbbells. Uh, but typically, I would stick with that 20 work rep protocol. But on this first round, I get 13. On the second round, I get 10. And, you know, give or take a few reps, it's not gonna be a big deal. The main thing is you get that full stimulation and get the minimum amount of work done. And then this last rep here is just complete failure for a solid workout. Who else can get a workout in in 40 reps? You can. So that'll complete workout A. 
Now this particular fellow in the vid video is in there for no specific reason other than I needed some time to talk and transition to the second part of the video. So, first part of the video was workout A, chest and back, with a chest emphasis. Workout B coming up, that's going to be back and chest with the back emphasis. So you'll see that coming up. Some seated hammer strength split loaded rows right here. This is a nasty little thing. We're gonna keep it to a few warm ups and 20 work reps, right? There we go. So, my apologies for this portion of the video. The autofocus stopped working on my camera for whatever reason. I think I hit the wrong button. But regardless, we start on seated hammer strength rows. We keep the seat really high. Uh, two warm-up sets is all we're doing. And then we dive in to our work sets. Now, same thing applies on this one. We keep it to 40 work reps total for the back. So on this one, we do our 20 reps. And then on the other back exercise, which is close grip pull downs, we'll hit our other 20 reps. So we break it up in a 866 manner on this particular exercise. Although I don't show all the sets and all the reps, that's kind of the breakdown. So again, two warm-up sets and then three heavy sets, totaling 20 work reps. We broke it up. First round was eight, second set, set was six, third set was six. 20 reps done, move on to the next exercise. Now these I love keeping that seat high, I grab the low grip and let that body stretch, pull down and back with the elbows, try to keep them close and in. And then on the final set, we went pretty heavy on these. So JD did actually spot me on the top side to get some force reps out and really accentuate the negative to get that bonus strength gain. And then from there, we moved on to close grip pull downs. Now these, I like to lean a little bit forward as opposed to sticking the chest out and leaning back. There's various ways to do this. One is not better than the other. They're just different. And I'll mix it up in the future. However, this round, this is what I chose to do. So, so first set, we broke it up into seven reps. Second set, seven reps. And the third set and final set, we hit six. Again, I didn't show all the sets and all the reps, but that's how we broke it up here. And remember, after you did those seated rows, you're already warmed up, so there's no reason to necessarily warm up again. You just dive right into the heavier weight and get your reps done. If for some reason they're not warm in this particular motion or in your joints for this motion, then obviously hit what I would call an acclimation set to acclimate your body to the new motion, not necessarily to warm up. So on this final round, I actually had eight reps left because I didn't complete all my reps in the previous two sets. And I broke it up into a little rest pause set, so I hit six reps. I'm standing on the seat to kind of take the tension off the back and recover. I just take a 10 deep breath, quick rest, and I'll go right back into it for two reps. And that's a wrap. After we finish our 40 reps on back between those two exercises, we came over to the flat hammer strength plate loaded press. 
and we dove right in after a warm-up set because we didn't have any direct warm-up of the chest. So this is actually round one for me. And then the final sets actually were compromised. As you'll see here, if you pay attention to my left hand on this particular set, the grip starts to slip in because I added another plate. It's a little bit too heavy for the equipment for whatever reason. And we went to flat bench instead. But that'll do it. That's the AB chest back split workout. So half of it was done on Monday. The other half of the workout was done on Thursday. The volume is low, but the intensity is high, and so are the weights. So keep that in mind. Just hit your whole workout over two days instead of one. You'll activate another growth process. And if you like what you saw, hit that like button. And please subscribe because I'll be posting more videos every single week.